Yo, what's good people? Welcome to the video. Now in today's video, we're going to talk about why the pull-ups are so hard to do. Now the pull-ups are one of the best exercises to build up your back, your biceps and your core. But it's also one of the toughest exercises to do, which is why most people can't do them. So now we're going to talk about some of the reasons why it's, it's hard to do and also I'm going to give you some tips in order how to achieve your first pull-up. Now, one of the key reasons why the pull-up is so hard to do is literally you're pulling your whole body weight in one direction, going against gravity from your arms, using mainly your back and your biceps. Now that in, in its own is very tough to do. Now, one of the key reasons it makes it more difficult is your weight. So the more you weigh, the harder the exercise is. So if you tend to see on the internet, people who bust out a lot of pull-ups, they tend to be smaller or shorter. And it's mainly like gymnastics, gym, um, gymnastics athletes or calisthenics or street lifters. A lot of them tend to be a lot smaller and shorter and they weigh less. So doing the pull-ups with them is a lot easier. Now your body type will also affect whether you can execute the pull-up correctly. So for example, if you are bottom heavy with big legs, that will make it more difficult to pull up your body weight from your arms and using your back because you have more weight below to pull up. And also your leverages will also impact your ability to do the pull-up. So if you have longer arms, it means you have a longer distance, distance to travel to do a full pull-up in terms of a full rep, which means chin over the bar. So having long arms will be a disadvantage. So for the guys out there have that sh have short arms, you have shorter leverages, so it makes it easier to do a full pull-up. Now more into, into the mechanics and physics side of things, while doing a pull-up, you're going to pull yourself up in multiple planes. And that requires a lot of stability, which means a lot of core strength. So that will help you stop swinging as well, because if you, the more you swing during the pull-up, the more you're going to leak energy, which will make it even harder to do a full rep. And one of the main reasons why a lot of people can't do the pull-up is because they have weak upper body strength. Now, that, those are the guys that don't really train their upper body, in specifically, or specifically their back. So for those people, if you, don't, if you don't really train your back muscles, it's going to be very hard for you to do a full pull-up. Or if you do train your back, but you do exercise, exercises that doesn't really translate over to the pull-ups. For example, if you do lat pull-downs, that doesn't really build up the strength to do pull-ups or T-bar rows, things like that. So you really have to do exercises to build up your back muscles and exercises that will translate to the pull-up. Now, as I said earlier, in order to do the pull-up, you really need to build up your pulling strength and your back strength and your biceps. So one of the key exercises that you can do will be bodyweight rows using the straight bar or the gymnastics rings. Now, I also made a video on how to achieve your first, first pull-up, so you can also watch that video as well for additional support. And another way to achieve your first pull-up is to do assisted pull-ups using the resistance bands. Now, that, that's also a great exercise in order to get the form right and actually, and actually go through the full motion of a pull-up. So that'll get, that'll get you used to the requirements and also get build up your strength in order to do a pull-up without the bands as well. Another exercise that you can do is eccentrics. Now that is where you do the focus more on the bottom part of the pull-up. So you jump on the bar and start at the top and slowly lower yourself down. Now that will help you build up your strength in your biceps and your back and allow you to control the pull-up a lot more and also build up the strength. And next you can do is focus on your grip strength. Now grip strength is not really talked about, in my opinion, on the internet. But having good grip strength is very important to do a pull-up. So you can improve that by doing dead hangs. Now that's simply by, all you have to do really in truly for that is just grab a bar, jump on it, and just hang off the bar straight like that. And, for, and hang as long as you can. That's all you have to do. And that will build up your grip strength. And that's also included in my free ebook in order how to unlock the first pull-up. So you can grab that as well, it's free, and that's also in the description box below as well. So there you have it. Yes, the pull-up is one of the hardest exercises to do, but it's also one of the best exercises to do for your entire upper body. And it's the, and for me, it's the best way to truly show off, show off your strength. That's the best way to test your strength. And with a lot of patience and determination, you can master it in no time. All right, it's just gonna take a lot of hard work and dedication and time but you'll definitely get there and I'm always there to help you along the way for that journey. So again, thank you for watching. Please make sure you get the ebook in the description box below. Please like, comment and subscribe. See you guys in the next one.